Welcome to today's video. Today we are featuring a new die set and it is a release day at Scrap Diva Designs. I am so excited, you guys. There are so many great dies. Christmas and Halloween are always my favorite to create for. I think there's just so much inspiration. It's such a happy time of the year and it's just so fun. So here we are with a new die set. You guys, again, under the radar, this die set I shared with you my top three in my unboxing video, um, but I have so many favorites. So this is one of them. It's super cute. It's a little star tag closure die set. It comes with four different sizes. Let me share with you what those sizes are. So the largest one is about three and a half inches. The next one is three inches. The next one is two and a half. And the next one is two. Okay, and they vary in width. And so this is what they look like, okay? And this is the direction they're meant to go in. And then you would just hug these on your project, whatever you want to use them on. It's a really cute little tag die set. So I saw, um, I participated in a cookie exchange and I saw one of the ladies use her, bur her little bread closures um, and she altered them to make them look like little snowmen and gingerbread. And I thought it was so stinking cute. And so when I saw these, it reminded me of that. And you know, at Christmas time, baked goods are one of our favorite things to gift. Um, I feel like you could also use this for craft fairs. And they are just so darling co-workers, teacher gifts, that kind of thing, neighbor gifts. So she had a stack of cookies like this. And then she used the little bread closure and she had... She had wrapped the stack in white tulle and the little bread closure looked like a little snowman. So it looked like the, a little tulle skirt for her snowman. It was so stinking cute. Um, so I took out our little reindeer add-ons and I created little reindeers because that's what I had. She used a marker and she just colored it with marker and it looked so stinking cute. But I wanted to use die cuts. So this is what I came up with, the little reindeer because that's what I had in my stash. And I think they are so adorable. And then I also took out our cookie exchange stamp set and um, I think this one was from last year and I just stamped the back of them. This one says cookie exchange. This one says baked with love. The one on here says sweetest Christmas ever. So it's just really cute, a really great die set. I really, really love it. Um, so I wanna do a little recap. First off, let's start with this. We have the poinsettia die. You guys, this is super cute. So you can make different sizes of poinsettias with this die set. Again, I shared it in my unboxing. I'll have that video linked as well. Um, you have this leaves bundle, amazing for layering, just like here. And the good thing about these two dies is that they come in one piece. So you run it through your die cutting machine one time, one and done, and you get a load of die cuts, okay? Then we have this one right here. This is another one of my favorites right here, you guys. This is the 3D purse gift box. Look at how stinking cute it is. So it comes with some accessories. You, um, It has some little acorns and some um, like greenery that you can use. Um, die cuts to create sort of like a little leaf detail to it, uh, to your acorns. It's so stinking cute. I love it so much. And I think that this purse can be used year round. So it's a really great little gift box to have in your stash. The measurements here, at its widest point, it is about where are we almost six inches and in height five inches okay and then the depth of it is about an inch and three quarters so it's super cute the height right here I think we had said it was about three inches oh it's about three and three quarters it's just stinking adorable you can fit a lot in here it's so stinking cute this bow right here has been one of my favorites um Jen Cassell and Amy fairy kisses to you have been using this bow and I just love the way they craft they are such neat crafters I feel like I'm very messy and their projects always look just so neat and well planned out and put together they're so inspiring and so they um inspired me to take out this double loop bow and use it for Christmas and it is just so stinking cute so you need to check that out as well that's also available I also used the Christmas cheer words Okay, you guys, I do not use, typically I like to use chipboard to add a little sentiment or stickers. Um, and I have taken this out and used it quite a bit. I used it for a group swap that I was in and then now I'm using it on these two little uh, purses right here and it just says Elf Squad. It has so many cute words on it and um, it's a really great set to have. I think it's about 13 words that you get in the set. So I really love the font of it. It looks like just like handwriting, like 
I don't know. It's just so stinking cute. I really love it. Um, so that is the cheer word set. Then we have this right here, you guys. So the winter hat mini album is one of my all time favorites. I've shared it with you several times. I just love it so much. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, it is a winter hat memory decks card. You guys look how stinking cute it is. Look how flat it is. And it just looks so adorable with the little puff ball at the top. It comes with some dies that you can use to embellish your little hat. I didn't use them on mine. I just used a little ephemera piece. But that's how stinking cute it is. Like you don't have to add too much to it. You can turn this little rim into a pocket and stick something in there. A little picture, a little gift card, what have you. Super cute. I added some little um, leaves from the leave bundle. And I still have so many from the ones I cut out. They are, I, I love it because it's just ready for you to stack super super adorable look at that and i even did some little hand stitching my sewing machine is not working so i'm like let's do some Paige evans hand stitching <laughs> and i love it so much she has a really great tutorial that shares with you how to create these little french knots and this back hand stitch super cute so that is the winter hat oh my gosh and you guys what you cannot for sleep on this gift box so this lid just pops out right off the top just like that okay and then it opens up and it's like a little takeout box okay and it creates a little house so Erica has a gingerbread add-on that is gonna be so stinking cute for the holidays that you can use with this little house but you can use this year-round it's just a little house so you can turn it into a little birthday um, you know gift box um, any holiday a little haunted house wouldn't that be so cute I hope she comes out with the haunted house uh, add-on that would be adorable this one comes with little window details and it's just so stinking cute the little doors it's adorable I love the little handles I love the closure I mean how stinking cute is that that the little rooftop is what closes it up um, and it is a really great size as well let's get the inches on this one so from top to handle, it's about five and a half inches. And then at its widest point, it's about four inches. And then down here, it's two and a half and two and a half by th almost three and a half. So it's just a really good size. Look at that. It's adorable. You can stick a lot of fun goodies in there. Look at this little guy right here. I created a little felty. I just cut him out of some felt. I used my hot glue gun. I, t I like to use my sewing machine on this kind of thing, but I used my hot glue gun because my sewing machine isn't working and it worked perfectly. You guys, look at how cute this little wand is to just stick in a little gift bag. It is adorable. Um, I love that it comes with the little glasses and it's just so stinking cute. It actually comes with a little die that you can use to create this little embellishment right here, but I remembered I had a cabochon and I just hot glued that onto there and I just think it is so stinking adorable. So, so many great gift ideas here. So many great dies that you can use for craft fairs and what have you. It's just adorable. I hope you guys check it out. Don't forget to use my coupon code Patty10 and all of the links to these dies are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.